Here's what we can do. I'll leave my card with you for the day. I am not the real god. No, 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 yes, yes. I get coconut head. What? I get big ear, but I'm not the real god. As Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only Nigerian YouTuber that you can pay to be your friend. I'm actually very serious. So if you are new here, please subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. Like this video also. Please pay my bills by watching the ads. Alright, rolling through. The biggest question being asked right now in the streets of TMC is where is Timinu? And the fans are unhappy because three episodes have gone so far and still no sign of her. So guys, I'm here to tell you that she won't be in this season. Yes, the writers spoke to me and they said they actually wrote her to be killed the very moment she appears on the show. So the scene will look like this. She shows her face and the fans are finally shouting. They are like, yes, 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 yes. Then you notice something. Nani, what, what, what? She's hiding. Hiding from what the fans are asking. The next thing you see is sniper. No, 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 no. Two snipers. Nah, 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 I'm joking. Ten snipers all wearing Jasmine shirts. Then pow, 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 pow. They all shoot. Then someone shouts at the back. She's still alive, guys. They all bring their AK 47 and M16 guns. And the rest of the scene will be left to your imagination. Aminu is someone I clearly don't like and I know you guys come to my page for a well-researched entertaining video and I felt I have failed you guys. So I will stop the hate on Aminu. Okay, so this episode started with him golfing in his office when everyone was working. <coughs> The detective named Sunday, who he sent to spy on Timinu, came back saying that she's not with the Clint guy from season 1 that he thought Timinu was cheating on him with. And that was what happened to the food. Tayo and his babe are not happy. She's the main reason Nigerians flog their kids. Just so they can reset their brain. Just a little bit. She has finally gone back to her regular scheduled laziness. But now it's different. In the past she was lazy but had money. Now she's lazy and doesn't have money. And at this point it's evident to Tayo that even if a girl has a banging body and a face to die for, those assets are completely useless if a rich man is not sponsoring her endeavor. And because of this, Tayo made the biggest mistake I have ever seen a man make. He left his ATM card with her. And you know what happened next. I believe it. What? Clap for this guy. If you are sitting, stand up. Stand bon full. Don't go. He confronted her on a mad purchase and at this point we knew this could go only in two ways. It was either he hit her and the whole world plus me would hate him for doing that or he reduces her what by saying degrading comments that will leave her shaking and probably make her depressed with her lack of common human conscience. Because of this small money. You have no idea how hard it is to work for money. That's why you can spend money foolishly. More than half a million naira on clothes in a couple of hours is not that much. I mean, I don't expect you to understand because you don't have to work for a couple in your whole life. Hey man, chill. You do not have to say all those things. She got two gowns. That was why it was so expensive. So? What means to she spend some of the naira? So? Larry's mom and his sister were in this episode, so you know it will be hot. Do you remember his sister, the same person that Louis was trying to do things with? Do, do you remember? I don't have the clip, I would have shown you the clip. And in this episode, it looked like Larry has not completely forgiven his sister for that affair. But the thing I like about them is they have this sibling rivalry that feels so normal. She exposes him for sleeping with married women. He's like, wait, <laughs> hold my beer. Let me expose you for having an affair with a man that was engaged. Don't go. After that scene, Larry then goes to see his fourth mom. I know you guys are confused at this point, so I'm going to give you guys a small graph to show you his mommies. You have mom one, mom two, mom three, and now you have mom four. I think Red TV can squeeze in one more mommy, so we know that this is a spin-off of MTV Sugar, the mommy edition. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the lady that gave him the contract and even if I don't like what Larry is doing, I am happy that he's at least smarter than his mommies. He's not the lover boy from season 1 and season 2. He is smart enough to know that the very moment he turns 40, they will move on to the next 18 year old.
We know Tonya has sworn an oath to never leave Louis alone. In this episode, she went to visit the queen of the show and they spoke about how they both disliked Lola. Then Tonya said she wants to take Louis down by fire by force. Then the queen of the show told her that, see, that's why she's the queen of the show because she gives advice. The queen told her that she can go for Louis but she has to be very careful because this guy named Aminu is using cheat code on this show. It won't end well. He's using... On the other end, Lola woke up and noticed that her man was not with her. Don't you hate when you sleep and your partner is not beside you? Single people won't understand. I won't understand also. Then she realized that he did not come back home the previous night. And after calling him and getting a reply, she goes into this frantic state. She went to Amino's office. Then from there, she went to Louis Lounge, Lounge because it's French. Then wanted to kill this guy after he told her that the police came to take him. Has she brushed? She hasn't brushed, right? Because she ran. I don't know. I'm not saying anything, but I don't, I don't know. They finally found out where Louis was taken to, thanks to Amino's detective. The detective then told them that only his lawyer can speak to him. Then Big Head Dunkus was like, Lola's mom is a lawyer. Then this happened. L Lola's mom is a lawyer. Oh, okay. That's Wait, how did you know Lola's mom is a lawyer? I am um, They go to the police station and Lola started shouting. She still hasn't brushed, right? Because I'm asking for a friend. I don't know. We finally see Louis beating up and he doesn't know who exactly called the police on him. If it was either his mom or Tonya. At the end, with the help of Amino and his dad, Louis was released. To me, no one asked Amino for his help. I don't think anybody did. Stop showing me this clip, Prince. I don't think anybody did. Then there was this slow motion effect showing Louis with his bruised face, tired facing serious money issues, Larry thinking of who his real mom is, and that guy. That guy, I don't know what his name I don't even know. Aminu then saw his ex, Aminu, when she was going to church. And I was like, where are the snipers? Where, where are the snipers? Stand there, please. Please stand there. Do not move. They are coming. They want to put on their jasmine shirt before they shoot you down. My expectations still remain the same. He will get duped and stay in a house. Who wants to bet? Anybody. Anybody, please bet. I'm looking for ways to make money at this point. Drop my expectations down below. And guys, <laughs> this was by far the best scene. Why did he prostrate? <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> Try so many times to make some sense of my life. I done did some things, some people questioning why, but it's the music. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out the music I used. That song was that song was was banging. It was so smooth because I don't know how to sing like the guy. But I don't know how to sing like the guy. My question for the day was what is the dumbest thing you have done for a guy or a girl that you liked? For me. <laughs> I fought <clears throat> I fought for a guy's attention and normally when I tell this story I, I first say it that way and everybody's like oh, what nani what I will explain I really liked the girl her name is confidence or her name yeah her name is confidence but she liked my friend Ima and Ima was my like my best friend at that point so anytime she tried to talk to him I would always like talk to him because I don't want her to get close to him so that's why it's a dumb story, but yeah, it's one of the dumb things I did back then. I don't know, but she, she never loved me in the end. I don't give a damn, man. It was in junior secondary school. Anyways, tell me your own dumb moments. I hope you liked the video. Please share the video with your friends. Please. Please help this channel out. And also, try your best to be watching the ads. I hear me. It helps me out. It helps me out. Please. Thank you very much for watching. I am currently sweating. I was recording since. Let me see how long it is. Um, 18 minutes. Oh, that's good. That's good. 18 minutes. You only see like seven or eight minutes of the video. Nice. One day I'll just do like a whole bloopers video. Trust me. Trust me. Bye, guys. I cannot deny I made mistakes. I made mistakes. Still, I realize that everywhere.